To use transformation features, we use this toolbar transformations. There's an extended toolbar as well for transformations. You can find all these commands right in a insert and in transformation features. First you will see the translation command. Uh, by translation command, uh, first of all you must we must note that all the commands that are there in this toolbar transformations are applicable to uh, the whole body uh, elements means you cannot apply these features on individual elements individual features uh, like in this case I cannot uh, only translate uh, the pad element I, uh, the, if I apply this, these, any of these commands they will be applicable to all these elements uh, so the entire pad body which are his work body will be transformed uh, now I select this translation button you see I don't need to select anything because the entire part body is going to be translated uh, now I give the direction X I can from graphics I can enter the distance or I can here I can put the distance let's say 200 mm and here we go the, the part body is translated now we'll see the rotation uh, click on this warning message yes and then you need to enter the axis let's say z-axis and the angle can be anything let's say 270 now the component is rotated next is the symmetry my symmetry uh, is it is nothing but translation however uh, the distance will be uh, now this entire part body will be kind of uh, made symmetrical about this yz plane so it's nothing but translating but there is a special command named symmetry for this uh, I just need to select this reference element and the entire body is now going to be made symmetric about yz plane here we go uh, now we'll see the other commands this is the mirror command now by this command this is there is a difference by this command I can by this command uh, this command uh, by this command I can individually I can uh, pick individual features and I, I can perform uh, the translations uh, to them like uh, uh, let's say I need to mirror this pad only so there won't be any fillets or hole in the mirror feature uh, mirror and then mirroring element will be this visor plane and object to mirror is the feature that I already selected and I click on OK so here we go there is only the pad element now unlike these these translate transformations features by this feature I can uh, uh, I can move individual features as well now we'll see this uh, pattern commands this is a pattern toolbar first one is the rectangular pattern uh, again I can select individual elements however uh, uh, note that I cannot select in individual uh, fillets or holes as the individual elements because they are related to this pad element so you can select independent individual elements that is the key point so I will now right now uh, I think I should select the entire part body the instances are the let's say 4 in the first direction, first direction is x direction, second direction is uh, let's say 3 and it is y axis. The distance uh, I want is let's say 50 mm apart, and these uh, along x axis it is let's say 40 mm apart. If I click on OK, I can also reverse these directions. Let's say I don't want this second direction in this direction so I will reverse it and I click OK so here are these elements it is kind of array of the of the current solid solid body now this is the circular pattern instances will be 3 angular spacing I will select this full crown complete crown option Round definition. This, this in this panel, I can 
select um, how many number of orbits that I want. Let's say I want three orbits and separated by 50 mm distance. The object to pattern is the current solid. Reference uh, direction is let's say z axis, and here is the uh, circular pattern. In this way, we can uh, do the circular pattern. Another important, I think it's the uh, very important pattern, uh, the way of pattern which is user pattern. User pattern, uh, I can first, uh, I have first created a sketch for positions. Like uh, here are simple points which will, which are kind of, uh, which denote the positions. So by user pattern, and they are not necessarily uh, uh, spaced by some proper uh, uh, pattern, like they are in, uh, they are simply uh, this sketch. If you see, it's not constant at all, uh, even. So they are uh, these are the points we uh, have created anywhere in this space. And now with the user pattern, I can move this current solid. I can oh, sorry, I can pattern this current solid to these. Okay, random locations. Anchor point. This is kind of base point. So anchor point is uh, this center point. This whole center, and then positions is this sketch. And see the everything is pattern. Like uh, as per the sketch, the position sketch, the ins this instant is been copied to all those locations so these are some of the important trans uh, transformation features